Gonzalez is running for state Senate after his short campaign for U.S. Senate. He's talking now after his initials were listed in a federal indictment involving a machine gun buying scheme. Faithy Buanu sat down with the former sheriff. Faith, you know, I can tell you firsthand, I am not doing this because it's driven by my ego. I have no, no access to grind with anybody here. I am here as truly a servant to the people. Transparency and integrity, two words former Bernalillo County Sheriff Manny Gonzalez tells me he lives by. And now speaking out for the first time on his alleged ties to illegal machine gun sales while in office. Any truth to this? Do you feel like this could affect your chances of running for state senate? No, you know, not at all. I'm presumed innocent. And the fact of the matter is this is the truth and this is the facts is that I was never charged with any crime in association or in connection with this investigation. And I feel very strongly that I didn't do anything improper or illegal. In October, federal prosecutors charged several law enforcement officials around the country with illegally dealing in machine guns. Gonzalez and his former undersheriff Rudy Mora listed by their initials and positions in the indictment but we're not charged. One of the three gun shop owners also listed was James Tafoya. Uh, he used to own a gun shop here in Albuquerque. Then Diamond states, allegedly, you sent 127 law letters to Tafoya, which would have allowed the request of nearly 600 machine guns. Your undersheriff allegedly requested 414. Is there any truth to this? I'm not aware of those numbers. Uh, and all I can tell you is that you know, when I was acting under the scope of the sh sheriff, uh, I would do nothing to ever compromise the integrity or not only or intentionally do anything wrong. Law enforcement officials are allowed to request permission to receive machine guns by sending a long letter to federal authorities. Gonzalez admitting to sending long letters for demonstration purposes, but tells me he never read the indictment. In order to answer the questions, I would have to know more about the indictment, but I never read it. And so uh, for me, it's a... Uh, Again, an honor to be able to uh, walk into uh, the opportunity to possibly run for pu public office, and I'm looking forward to it. But do you feel that the public doesn't have a right to know because you stated you haven't read the indictment? Is there a reason for that? Because your initials were listed? Uh, no, uh, I, it was in, uh, you know, I, I think if uh, my attorney w was, you know, would have uh, advised me, you know, to, to read it, then uh, I would have done it. But for whatever reason, uh, it wasn't, so it, it doesn't concern me. Do you ever plan to read the indictment? Well, I'm not sure. I'm not, I, I'm not sure. Do you feel the public deserves the right to know? Yeah, if they, they can read the indictment, sure. They can read the indictment. Any, they, they have access to it. I would encourage them to read it. I mean, to hear from you regarding it. I think once uh, the, I think once the uh, investigation's complete, just like uh, any time I handle it as sheriff, that if uh, that time comes and... Uh, I'm in a position where I'm holding public office, yeah, I would uh, feel that it, uh, that might be a, a, an, op a, an option for me. Gonzalez previously ran for Albuquerque mayor. He briefly ran for U.S. Senate, but was disqualified due to a lack of signatures on his ballot petition. Now he's running for state Senate. In the future, if I was going to do something like that, lesson learned, chalk it up to experience and move forward. Making the switch in political party as a longtime Democrat to Republican. Made it based on I have strong personal convictions and when you are when you have strong convictions, you have to go with your values. So my values are aligning more with the Republican party. I'm coming here as a person that is driven by people and I'm here to serve the, at the will of the people and I will represent them in their best interests and I always will. I just happen to uh, make a, a, a party change. Faithy Buanu, KOAT, Action 7 News. Terry Adagon, his opponent in the Republican primary, sent us this statement. We are blessed to live in a country which allows the citizens to seek to govern and legislate on behalf of their neighbors. Healthy competition is the American and New Mexican way of life. I welcome all those whose hearts are led to stand in the gap for our fellow New Mexicans. <laughs>